adding custom commands to voice attack and a HCS voice pack. I will make one command that the voice attack profile Singularity doesn't have, and one that I wanted to make personally for me while I play Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I'll use it somewhere in the demo itself, so keep an eye out for it. Then, I'll show you how to make it, and how to integrate custom commands just like it to your voice pack voice attack profile, namely Singularity. First, we're gonna pick up an on-foot mission, demonstrate the use of that custom command during that mission, and then complete the mission itself. This will do a couple of things. It helps both new players and those returning to the game, as well as show you how to accomplish things when you're off your ship in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I'll be using voice attack voice control software and the HES voice pack, plus the optional add-on pack for the HES voice packs, Gravity, which adds on-foot voice commands whilst you're in your spacesuit. Just think Jarvis. So, these missions. They look a little scary, and many players just don't know or aren't that confident in completing a lot of them when they see them. Some missions, like this one I'm getting here, where you just visit an area on the planet's surface and break into what are usually just containers to collect something, are simple and moderately safe to try out. So let's get moving. Don't forget to keep an eye out for that custom command. Power to shields. Rerouting power. Observation speed. 10%. Enable auto docking module. Affirmative. Working. Bringing it online. Stop all thrusters. Throttle to zero. Landing modules. Lowering gear. I'm going to show you the necessary steps required for making a custom command and then including those custom commands in your HCS voice packs profiles. So to begin, I'm going to make a custom command that a lot of you might agree with or disagree with, but this is why it's called a custom command. It's not included in the voice packs because it's not going to suit everybody. This is for me, right? It's for me. And I want to be able to switch off the auto docking module whenever I wish because it gets on my nerves but it's very useful sometimes so instead of having to scroll through the menus I've set this up for me now to do that write down all of the keys required to do it now my key binds for this are the following so first of all number four to open the right panel E and Q I use to scroll the tabs at the top so that's E and then S to go down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Spacebar to select, spacebar again to activate or deactivate. W to go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Q to select the home tab and then finally escape to close the panel. That puts everything back to how it was before I began. And you need to do that so that each time you use it, it always starts from that left hand side home tab. Right, now I know what the keys are, I write them down in Notepad. Well, I've already done that. I don't want to waste your time or mine any further. So you can see those here on the left. You can see that I'm in the Odyssey profile as well, right here. But what I'm going to do is make a new profile right here. And I'm going to call it Custom1, like that. In that profile, I'm going to make a new command. And I'm going to call it docking module right I'm going to call it docking module test docking module test later on I will call it enable and disable auto docking module but while I'm testing I'm doing this so when I say this it will carry out any commands that I've programmed in here all right and I'm going to do that now I'm going to program the command so we're going to use the recorder to do this there are other ways, but I'm going to use the recorder for this. So, recorder, start recording my key presses. So, when I go in the game, 
like this. I'm going to press 4, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, space bar, twice, W, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Q, and escape. That's it. That's it recorded. I did it quite quickly. Not as fast as I'd like the command to be carried out, but we can change that. I'll show you how. I'm now going to Alt-Tab. And I'm going to stop recording and remove those key presses for alt tabbing back out. So delete, 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 all the way up to escape, which was the last key I pressed to close the panel down. Now I know that's correct. Now we're going to add some sounds. To do that, scroll all the way to the top because that's where we want the sound to play. Other sound, player sound. Let's get an acknowledgement. This one will do. Make sure it's at the top. And then I'm going to go to the S keys, which was down, 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 down. And just before I press the space keys, I want her to say working. So other sounds, player sound. And we'll choose working. I searched for it earlier. There we are. And now we've got the two sounds required for this. So if I click A... Like that, and done. Like that. Make sure voice attack is listening to the game. Docking module test. Acknowledged. Working. Perfect. Excellent. So that was successful. Now what we need to do is make sure voice attack is not listening because we're not carrying out the command anymore. And this time I'm going to edit the command again and I want it to be faster. So between all these key presses, you can see all the pauses. You need to make adjustments to those to speed it up uh, and customize that speed as much as you wish. Uh, but for my pauses, I was using about 0.003 for the demo. Uh, my machine's pretty solid and quite quick. It may differ. You, you might be able to do it even quicker. I don't know, or, or slower. But you can adjust all these pauses and, and make the pauses between the key presses much, much quicker. And the other way of doing this is to simply add key presses, right? So you can choose your key presses by adding them. So you can do all of what you see on the left in terms of the key presses that need to be carried out you can do them all manually and put the key presses and the pauses in how you see fit. But I recorded it and prefer to then uh, go in and adjust these pauses. Plus, I like it to look a little bit more natural. So we've got the sounds in there. We've got everything else in there. It worked beautifully. We can now go on and change what we want it to be recognizing. So enable auto docking module. I want it to recognize that. We put in a semicolon and disable auto docking module. If you want different sounds for it, then you have to replicate the command. But I've put both of these in the same command for this purpose. Once I'm finished, I can click OK, apply, done. Now what I can do is head over to my Elite Dangerous profile, the Singularity profile. I'll wait for that to load. And what I need to do now is to tell that profile I want it to include my custom commands that I just made. Right, so in that other profile, I made that command. I need it to be included in my main profile I use for the game. How to do that? We click on Edit here. Options. Very, very simple this. Include commands from other profiles. Three dots there. Add. Look for your custom, which I believe is probably... That one there, custom one, yep. Click OK, click OK, done. Make sure voice attack is listening and we're gonna go try this out. So I'll go in game. Voice control on. Initiating, voice control on. Power to systems. 
by your command. So we now know that the Elite Dangerous profile is working. Now I'm going to try the custom command that I made. Disable auto docking module. Acknowledged. Working. Voice control off. Voice control off. Now, I'm really happy with that. Everything went according to plan. I had to record this demo live, by the way. You're not going to want to know how many times. But that's how simple it is to accomplish. Providing you follow these instructions, you'll be able to both add your custom commands to your existing Elite Dangerous Singularity profile, and then you can go straight back to your custom profile like this and start adding as many new commands as you wish to that and they'll always be included in your Elite Dangerous Odyssey profile. Open transactions. Opening now. Disembark ship. Integrating into suit systems. Flashlight on. On. Looks quiet enough. I don't see need an e-breach for this. I don't think we're going to raise any alarms busting into this container. I just need to cut this maintenance panel away and short the lock. Cutting tool. Cutting tool ready. Overload tool. Don't get caught. Easy buddy. Chemical agents, some weapon schematics. Can't see our objective materials yet. What's this? Let's hope we don't need them. Med packs. Let's see what else is here. Cutting tool. Selecting. Cutting tool. Cutting tool ready. Overload tool. some of this stuff, so long as we don't get any unwanted company. Primary weapon. I need to get to the ship for an e-breach. We can hack that crate. to the backpack. 
I think there's just the two locked crates that need hacking. Hack the crate. It's still quiet. So I think I'll collect up everything from this uh, side. This ship's close enough if things get ugly. Along with the weapon schematics I saw earlier, this stuff might help us get a few upgrades. Won't take long. One more crate to open. Hack the crate. Who am I? I am Gamma, the best damned AI experience you'll ever have. You want me aboard? Come and get me.